In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph a simple hyperbola equation. Okay, now this is the question. The question is draw the graph of y is equal to 3 over 3 over uh, 2x. Okay, now to understand what a hyperbola, which are the main features of a, a hyperbola, I have drawn uh, a sketch of a hyperbola. I don't know the equation of this hyperbola. I've only drawn a sketch. So, <clears throat> now here, the main features of a hyperbola are the two asymptotes. Okay. It will have two asymptotes. Now, this is called the horizontal asymptote, and this is called the vertical asymptote. Now, asymptote is a line which the graph would not intersect. Now, if you look at this branch of the graph, this branch of the bra graph is approaching Suppose, let us say, this value on the y-axis is, say, I'm just thinking, suppose this is, say, 2, and on, on the x-axis, say, this is, say, 1. Okay, this is not drawn to scale. So, what can I say? The, the hyperbola, this graph is approaching 2 uh, when x approaches infinity. Okay, as x approaches x, or in other words, x as x becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, approaches infinity, y is approaching 2. So let me write that. So we can say when x is in approaching, this is the notation of, when I say, uh, when I write, this is positive infinity, that means a positive number, a huge number. Imagine 10 million or uh, whatever. Okay. Imagine x to be a very huge number. Then, y in this case is approaching 2. It will never become 2, but is approaching 2 when x is approaching infinity. So the horizontal asymptote is, uh, here you can say the horizontal asymptote is x is equal to 2. Sorry, y is equal to 2. So here the horizontal asymptote, if you want to write what is the equation of the horizontal asymptote, y is equal to 2. Okay. Now, this is the x, in, so this is the y intercept where the graph intersects the y axis and this is the x intercept. That would be pretty yeah, yeah, easy for most of you. So, you if you remember, y intercept you get when x is equal to 0 and x intercept you get when y is equal to 0. Now, let's see. Uh, now, what is the vertical? Uh, what is the vertical asymptote? This is called the vertical asymptote. Uh, in the for the vertical asymptote, uh, that's where the function is not defined. So, vertical asymptote you decide. Okay, that's how you find by thinking where is the function, or where is the relationship, or where is the equation. Where is the function? Let me use the maths word. Where is the function? Function means the equation or relationship not defined. Okay, I'll explain this in detail later on. So this is how you find the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is found by asking the question, where is the function not defined? Okay. So you can ask, you can get the vertical asymptote by asking the question. And the horizontal asymptote you get by asking the question, what happens when x approaches positive infinity or negative infinity? So you can write or, so what do I mean by negative infinity? x approaches negative infinity. That means as if x is approaching uh, negative infinity, you can see what is happening to the graph. It is approaching in uh, here. You can say it's approaching. In this case, in this branch, it is slightly more than two. It is slightly more than two. It will never never be equal to. And here it's slightly less than two. Okay, so in either case, in the above branch, your function, your y value is would always be more than two, slightly more than two. Whereas in this branch the graph would always be less than 2. In either case, it is approaching 2 from both sides. So, yeah, that's how you decide the uh, horizontal asymptote. 
So these are the three or these are the four uh, points or cri critical points that you need to decide to draw a hyperbola. Mm -hmm. The vertical asymptote is when is the function not defined. Horizontal asymptote you find by looking at the function when x is approaching infinity, a huge number, or x is approaching a very small number. Okay? And uh, whatever your function reaches, that's called the horizontal asymptote. Okay. So let us look at this question. The question is y is equal to 3 over 2x. Okay, so we need to think y is equal to 3 over 2x. Now, I hope you understand this implies y is equal to, what is 3 over 2? That is, what is half of 3? That's 1.5. So can I write like this? This is 1.5x, sorry. This is 1.5 over x. Okay. Now you have to do the way of thinking cap. Okay, so let us now think. So now we are going to ask the question, where is the function not defined? Or where is y, in other words, where would the value of y not defined? Now you should be knowing, what happens when you divide by 0? Okay, so let me show you on a calculator. So if you divide any number by 0, this is menu 1. So let us say 1.5 divided by 0. What is the calculator telling me? It's a maths error. Okay. Now this maths error means in maths you're not allowed to divide by 0. Whenever you divide by 0, it's undefined. Okay. So here I can, by looking at this function, I can say function is not defined. So you can say function is not defined when x is equal to 0. So what does this mean? That means you cannot have any value of x as 0. This implies the vertical asymptote is vertical asymptote would be that number. Asymptote is x is equal to 0. Now, look at this graph. Where is x 0? Okay. So, your y-axis is where x would always be 0. You should be knowing 10 is 10, 0. Sorry, 0, 10. 9 is 0, 9 and so on. So, your vertical asymptote is your y-axis. Okay, so this y can also be written as x is equal to 0. So I'll show the vertical asymptote first. That's your y-axis. Okay, so let me delete this. And okay, so this is my vertical asymptote. Okay, so let me go up, highlight it, and make it bigger. So this is your vertical asymptote. Okay. So that's the first thing done. We have decided the vertical asymptote is nothing but your our y-axis. So this is nothing but your y-axis. X is equal to 0 not, is nothing but your y-axis. I'll continue in the next video. Thank you.